Good morning, everyone. How you all doing on this warm, sunny July morning? This is the Limelight Prime Hydrangea that we pulled out just before we did the garden tour um, because, first of all, I, I wanted to line that area with Limelight Primes. The nursery hadn't received any in as, as of that time. And the more I began looking at it, and I was looking at other Limelight Primes online, you know, other YouTube YouTubers that, that garden and whatnot, they were all having lots of growth. And mine wasn't, it had a little bit of leaves, but not very many. Well, anyway, we pulled it out and I landed up putting columbine back behind the coleus. And I thought, I, I don't know where I'm gonna put this. Um, I, this is very different for me as opposed to the macrophylla hydrangeas where I know they can only take just so little bit of sun for us in the morning and have to be really protected by shade the rest of the day just because of our heat. We, I put it in this bucket and I just said, well, until I find a place, I'm gonna flood it. I'm gonna flood it every day. And that's what I've been doing. I put it around to the east side of our house and I kept it there oh, for about a week and a half. And all of a sudden, I started seeing just a ton of new growth. I took it away from the side of our house because it was right up against the house where I was afraid that the radiant heat from the stucco would burn the, some of the leaves, and it did. You can see some of them are a little bit crispy, but I was excited that all of a sudden I, it was pushing growth. I don't think it's gonna bloom this year, and that's okay. However, I couldn't get it in the ground right away because I just wasn't sure where to put it. So I think I'm gonna be able to save it. I'm gonna put it, typically I, I don't plant anything during July. Uh, end of June, all through July, and most of August. And that's just because <laughs> I've done that and had to use an umbrella to keep it from burning. And um, I've just been afraid that I'm gonna lose it uh, because I've had to shift an umbrella to several plants that I've done that to uh, during the summertime. But I have a feeling that this is uh, gonna do much better in the ground than it will be in a pot. I've ran out of biotone and plant tone and holly tone, I'm, I'm gonna use that when I plant it right now. So I'll keep giving you guys updates and letting you know how it's doing. This obviously is already in the sun and it's early morning and it will get sun this area, ooh, maybe till one, one-ish, one, between one and two. And that's a whole lot more sun than it had been receiving. So I'm kind of excited that I didn't kill it <laughs> and it's pushing growth. Um, so we'll see how it does. And if, if it does very well, I think I might add maybe a few more because these are so pretty, so gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and start planting and, uh, and then I'll show you uh, what it looks like afterwards. I would say it's about 9.30. I think it's about 9.30 in the morning. I don't have my phone with me. Just to give you perspective on uh, how sunny it is already right now. And I, it's well into the 80s, maybe almost 90. <laughs> I'm not sure. We have had, I think, I've lost count. 
well over 20 days of over 100 consecutive. Uh, I don't think we've had a break of even 99. <laughs> and the next 10 days looks like it's 108, 107. <laughs> it's, it's a warm, it's warm every summer here. I just wanted you to see that there was, there was a hole here and you couldn't see it, you know, walking uh, up and down the sidewalk because all these are pretty tall and pretty full. However, I wanted to make a point that th there's an acapanthus in front of the hydrangea that I've trimmed already. And had I moved this sooner, you would have been able to see the blooms um, as soon as these were cut back. So you can tell that these are spent, you know, you can see that they're all kind of falling apart. And so what I went ahead and did is I trimmed these off because I still have a few pretty blooms left. But maybe next year, as soon as these are done and I deadhead the agapanthus, this will be a beautiful show. I just wanted to show you that it's, it did come back and it's pushing growth and we'll just have to wait and see. I'll keep giving you updates because I, I think I had mentioned in one of the comments that I wanted to do a end of summer tour to show you what has survived and what has, you know, fallen from the heat that we've had uh, all summer long. But anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful week and we'll see you soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.